Hello there. Sorry from 17 once again. This is my Fury walkthrough. This is Fury difficulty, and we're on the third boss in the game. The level is entitled The Line. So you'll notice the hood is a little different on this particular video. I moved away from the campaign and I moved into practice mode. Because in practice mode you can fight the bosses and you don't have to do the intermission sequences between the levels. So I could record this a little bit more streamlined without having to do those uh, narrative moments. There's two advantages to practice mode here. The first one is you get to see your timer because there's a ranking system on this game that I had no idea existed until the end and it turned out all my ranks were shit because I wasn't very good. <laughs> and there's also in the top left below my life it says KOs and it says hits. So I saw these massive hit numbers and I'm like, oh wow, you must have to combo or something and, and get these points. But it turns out that's every time you get hit. And every time you get hit, it counts against you. Every time you die and use a continue, it counts against you. The scoring is literally that. Get hit as few times as possible, do not die, and kill the boss quickly. And you will be able to get S ranks. It's obviously quite difficult to do that because these games are very challenging and uh, this one has some very interesting patterns. So the third boss is this old man. It begins with this crazy defensive shield he has and this big floor effect damage that he fires out. The strategy here is simple. Use charge shots to destroy his shield and then shoot him once and it ends this life bar in this phase. The problem is, if you go flat automatic, it'll reflect the bullets back, and so does the barrier that we're inside, so the bullets will be bouncing around like a crazy pinball machine, and it gets very hectic. Also, the barrier can eat your dodges, so do not dodge into it because you'll get no momentum or, or any movement. Dodge to the side. Uh, be very careful of your positioning here, because it catches me out in this video and I take damage. Every time that big laser attack that the boss does every so often touches you, it takes off two squares of HP, which is quite a lot for a fight that is quite long. I recommend charge shots here because they don't reflect as much bullshit and they open this guy up a little bit quicker, but it's still a pretty lengthy process. Uh, you should see what this looks like on hard. Uh, it's a completely different encounter. And I actually prefer this, this particular form in hard because you don't get lazy because you've got to move constantly. But keep on shooting him, uh, keep on beating him down, and dodging what he does. That was the time when I dodged into the, the dome and it ate my, my life. So right now, I'm quite low on my HP. You hit, you'll notice the game sound starts to mute, the sound effects, when you get low on HP. But the good news is, the moment we get through this guy's defences, I'm going to be able to get all that life back. And those green orbs that are being projected outwards, they also have healing items in them if you can grab them. Those red orbs that you can see, if you time your block, you can parry them back. I don't know if it'll make much of a difference, but you can do that. And something that's really important, there are a few different movement speeds in this game. When you're not doing anything, you just run around, you move the fastest. When you hold your gun, uh, you move quite slow, and if you shoot your gun, you move a little bit faster than charging, but you're still slower than fully running. And technically, there's a fourth one as well, which is you can move while you're charging an attack, but it's like a, a little shuffle he does, and you've seen me do it. But for this phase, block the orbs when they come towards you by pressing circle, and you'll parry them. And then when the boss uh, builds this little pyramid thing, I say pyramid, it's just a, a square really, isn't it? Like a big long rectangle. We come into this phase, which... This phase is quite tricky, because these bullets that you see here, they can be reflected like I just did then, which is useful, but it's not going to do the most damage. They reflect bullets, so they will block your ability to shoot. So you, what you want to try and do if you can here is, of course, dodge the big fanning out area of effect damage, but shoot the core when they're not near it. When they come near it, focus on evading. As soon as they move away, shoot the core. Reposition, and bear in mind that the dash in this game gives you invulnerability, but it has a little bit of start up on it, so be very careful with the dash, because the amount of times I get clipped because I do it almost, you know, just as it happens, is kind of obnoxious. It's definitely something you'll have to learn and you'll have to get comfortable with. But the pattern here is quite simple. In, shoot, 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 out, reposition. In, shoot, 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 out, reposition. And that's all we're doing here, guys. It's methodical, it's rhythmic. There is a pattern. And then once it stops, this is an opportunity to heal. So if you shoot these bullets, they'll drop those green ones. If you break the green ones, you get life. He's gonna teleport, so get ready to parry. Parry, 
and now he's going to do a wave attack, which you can either dodge through or get away from, and then a shock wave. Dodge through the shock wave, hit him with the stun attack. Charge that move, go into the animation. You'll notice each boss has a unique animation for the, the execution move. Here comes the attacks. Block it, release your charge attack, do massive damage. This guy goes down. And then let's get close up. So, he, this is a three hitter, this one. And after the third hit, you can usually repost him. Or you can just block the first one and do a charge attack if you want to. This is me powering up with the analog. Of course, get out of the red zone and then hit him. Watch the damage when I land if I can. When I finally hit this dude, but he's, he's been a bit awkward. Here we go. Attack. Watch this. Look at that. That is a standard four hit combo, but because I was powered up, it did that much damage. That's a taunt. Always punish the taunts. Do not let these bitches taunt. The voice acting in this game is actually really good. I like it. I haven't tried it in any of the other languages yet, but I think I'm going to because it must be said. You're going to be doing these bosses a lot because they're not easy, guys, and you're not going to get them on your first attempt, and they just get harder. So you're going to hear these sound files quite a lot, and when they move between these HP bars, you can't skip those cutscenes. So it gets to the point where those little witty anecdotes that the, the bosses say between those phases start to grind. Uh, I ended up turning off the voices for two bosses because I got so fucked off by the bosses talking shit that I couldn't do it. I just couldn't stand it anymore. And it made it a lot better because I could just focus on playing then. And if you're having trouble because you're getting frustrated or anything along those lines, try turning the voices off. That's a really, really solid tip that I can give you. Also, try to be in the mindset of this game has, I think, how many bosses does this game have? It, it has like, it has a couple, but it has more bosses than I thought it would. But it only amounts to maybe about 10 fights or something, which is probably not accurate. So these bosses, they seem like they could take quite a while, but this is the game, guys. So don't think about, you know, wanting to get it over and done with as quick as possible. Don't think about trying to rush it and get it done and get it out of the way. Don't think of it like that. Think of it like a, a, a marathon taken in footsteps. You know, a single step of a marathon to get to the end. Each piece of damage is a step in that marathon. And if you can look at it like that and focus on the immediate rather than the finish line, you can get into the mentality of these longer... Um, boss fights because it has to be said I don't like long boss fights I never have and I don't like boss fights that don't have checkpoints this game does two of, the, two of those things I don't like this is the final move by the way he's going to send these homing orbs at you and then he's going to send out shock waves so I like to circle the arena dashing and then when the shock waves come I try to dash through the shock waves it's very effective but it's quite tricky too so um Understand your dash, understand the iframes, understand the timing, and best of luck. As I was saying though, I don't particularly like no checkpoints and, and steep restarts. I don't particularly like boss fights that go very, very long with lots of life. But this is a different kind of encounter and a different kind of boss experience. It is this endurance slog. It is all these phases coming together that each one is different and nuanced and subtly, you know, changing and shifting. And that's why... Uh, I really, really like this game, even though it does things that, personally, if I were a designer, I might do slightly differently. But this is the final attack of this boss. He summons a lot of bullets. All we're going to do here is we're going to focus on shooting those pillars. We have to break all of them. You might be wondering, won't the charge shot do more damage? It certainly will. But if you can charge your gun while dodging bullets, while aiming at this moment... Uh, you're a little bit better than I am when it comes to the old hand-eye coordination. Uh, I found myself getting hit because I was, I was focusing on aiming too much and I couldn't dodge. And I felt it was much easier to go into autopilot and look at dodging and kind of just shoot automatically. Uh, which brings me to uh, one of the criticisms I have with this game, which is because it's on PC and PS4, uh, I'm playing this on, PC, on PS4, sorry, and I don't like PS4's analogs. And in this sequence... I was clawing the analog so that I could dodge and parry. And doing that while trying to aim on that little nipple controller irked me to high heaven. I really need to get one of those adjustments. Um, you know, one of those, is it Kronos Max or whatever they're called, where you can plug in any controller because it's not my favourite uh, peripheral. But not the game's fault, of course. That's just a preference of mine. But there goes that dude. He was the first boss that made me go, okay, this is, this is interesting because I had to slow down my pace and I had to learn exactly what I was doing in that one. But it's a really fun fight and it gets even more insane on hard, so look forward to that. But thank you very much for watching and you take care now.